Welcome back to Good Morning Football. We do the Fab Five here on this show. Mm -hmm. It's the top five rookies of the week. We usually do them. I'm in New York. I'm talking to you at home. Let's go for a walk. We're in L.A. Let's Come on. Peter. We're going to the big screen. We're going to use this fabulous studio it. and all of our bells and whistles and this cool screen up here. Look at this. I've got some nice shoes on. You hear that? Those aren't the usual Kmart. Peter, you different. fancy. This is it. Let's go. Top five. And where else would we start than Chicago? With a punter. Number sure. five, we are going with Tori Taylor, the punter out of Iowa, out of Melbourne, Australia, mm. who is now at the Chicago Bears. It might be the best Wanna. punt of the year. Let's go to Adam Amin on the call for Fox Sports to see one of the most beautiful punts you'll ever see. Officially 66 with the roll from down under to flip the field. My goodness. Yeah, we've got a punter on the board, folks. <laughs> Tory Taylor, incredible in this game. Continuously punting the ball and moving the field using his leg. Let's look at it on the all 22 here. We even got a graphic that says, <laughs> boom. Watch the ball and watch where it goes here. This is 64 yards in the air. It bounces on the eight. And then check out the little top spin here. And it just goes right out of bounds. You can't return it. They pinned him back here. This was a game that was made up by one possession. And Tory Taylor had the punt of the year. 66 yards, and it just dies and goes in the coffin corner. You get a little bit of this from the kid from Iowa via Australia. That was number five. How about number four? We go to Baltimore, where we got the first start of Nate Wiggins' career. Oh. And Nate Wiggins out of Clemson. Had an outstanding game. Remember, Buffalo came in here averaging 38 points per game. The best offense in the league. Ravens defense silenced them, and Nate Wiggins was all over the field. His coverage was exquisite. He was covering everyone from Khalil Shakir to that guy right up there, number 13, Mac Hollins. He was on it, and he almost had this pick. His passes defended were great, and he continuously confounded them. Mitch Trubisky came in. Wiggins just dropped it. He was everywhere. Look at the coverage stats here on Nate Wiggins for his first NFL start. 24 snaps, two targets, one pass defended, only one reception allowed for five yards. They're going to get him into the uh, defense more and more. They're going to work him in. Nate Wiggins, we see you. Representative of the entire Ravens defense, which silenced that Bills offense. Number three, we go right here to L.A. And I'm not talking about a Ram or a Charger. I am talking about a receiver who stepped up when the team's number one mm. went down. We go to the third quarter of a close divisional matchup. Jim Nance, give us the Xavier Worthy experience on CBS. But this one, this one is going deep for Worthy, and the rookie holds it in. That's the longest touchdown pass for Mahomes in a long time. Xavier Worthy does his thing, the rookie from Texas. This was a game that the Chargers were controlling. They get that big play, and then the Chiefs end up rolling. Worthy, look at the little hesitation here. That is a quick little hesitation step. <laughs> I didn't play receiver. I'm not Michael Irvin. I'm not any of the receivers on this network. I don't know how to show you what it was done. Peter, it looked great. But I tried. I gave one of these. Uh, that's an insult to sprinters and receivers <laughs> everywhere. Three for 73, but the momentum shift. And then, of course, the third and six late. We need one play to ice the game, and it was Xavier Worthy. You look at this guy. He reached 21.5 miles per hour on that pass, that 54-yard touchdown. It's the third fastest among all ball carriers in the 2024 season. And then for Mahomes, it went 62 yards in the air. That's the longest pass traveled yardage in Patrick Mahomes' career. Mm. 62 yards in the air to Xavier Worthy. That leads us to two names. Two names. Well, who we got? Let's think. Let's go back to the NFL draft. Who are the two names that we discussed the most? Oh, the quarterbacks. Mm. Who gets one? Who gets two? We'll start with the silver medal. Caleb, some week will be yours. It ain't this one. You get number two in this okay. week. Okay. Oh. Caleb Williams, oh, an outstanding on. performance. And if we had just stopped this thing at the 1 o'clock window on Sunday, Caleb and his incredible celebration into the locker room would have been the winner. Caleb Williams, fantastic game. He put it all together in this one. And if you look at the, the, the numbers, he's the first rookie quarterback selected number one overall in the NFL draft 
to win each of his first two career home starts. Remember, they won week one against the Titans, and they went against the Rams. No quarterback ever who was a first overall pick started off 2-0 at home. Caleb has done this, and he was efficient. He was working the ball upfield throughout this game. Guys, 17 of 23, efficient. A touchdown pass, efficient. Passer rating, 106.6. It's not going to dazzle you. It's not going to get him all pro awards. But the key thing, the letter W. The Chicago Bears come away with yet another win. They're 2-2. Two and two. They're yes, sir. just fine going mm -hmm. into week five. But let's do the Jaden Daniels experience. Let's do it again, and let's really, really enjoy it. Jaden Daniels okay. did it all. And I think Chris Myers had a pretty good call of his rushing touchdown. Let's go to the Fox broadcast. Chris Myers and Mark Schlereth, take it away. A 47-yard penalty, first and goal, and Daniels trying to follow his block. Jaden Daniels to the end zone, and he's got a touchdown. Smiling all the way, and in command, Jaden Daniels gets to the end zone. Frustrating Arizona fans. I feel bad for that lady, <laughs> but I feel bad for a yeah. lot of different opposing fans. She's in there like this in her Larry Fitz jersey. So many fans from opposing teams are frustrated. You look at the numbers. 26 of 30. 233 passing yards. 47 rushing yards. Two touchdowns. He became the first player ever, first player ever, <laughs> to have 85 completion percentage, 85% in consecutive games. He had 92 last week, and he had more than 85 this week. He's on fire right now. Look at this. 91.3 against Cincinnati, 86.7. You go to all the rookie performances ever. None of them did it back-to-back -back weeks, and he's got the two highest in the history of the sport with minimum 20 pass attempts. Mac Jones and Roethlisberger did it, and then we just keep going through here. In a four-game span, all right, since 1950, this is not just rookies. Any quarterback ever in the history of the sport. And this, you're seeing Hall of Fame. All these guys are going to the Hall of Fame. Breeze and Brady. Shocker. Breeze and Brady. Spoiler alert to everyone. They're going to the Hall of Fame, too. So you can put that logo on there. <laughs> Through four games and a four-game span. This is the first four games of his career to have a highest completion percentage of all time. No quarterback's done it better ever. And it's the first four times he stepped on a football field. Can't put it into context. It's crazy. You're looking at Breeze, Manning. You're looking at Kurt Warner when it was the greatest show on turf. And in the first four games of his career, it's the greatest four-game span for accuracy. And, oh, by the way, he also uses his legs. And, oh, by the way, they win these games. Mm. Uh, All-time rookie record for highest completion percentage in any back-to-back. -back. I mean, the, the stats go on and on and on. But the part that I love about Jaden Daniels is that stuff, the intangible. He is the leader. They follow him. And where he goes, they will follow.